I'll try to break it down for people and explain to them what lupus is. It's an autoimmune condition that I was diagnosed with in 2012. My immune system, which is built to protect me, is overactive. When it doesn't find any sickness in my body, it begins to attack my organs. And it happens within, so sometimes you can't even understand, but there's times where, you know, I wake up in the morning and I can't move. And my body, is, it's like paralysis, so like, where I have to, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to even get feeling in my fingers and have to like get myself up. Um, and those are, those are probably more of the extreme cases. Um, but it gets to that place where it's just your immune system fighting everything, trying to tear it down. And it takes me back to being a kid and being diagnosed with attention hyperactive disorder, uh, irregular heartbeat, and you know, just, I was a kid with so much energy. Everything about my life has always been overactive. When it doesn't find any sickness in my body, it begins to attack my organs. And it happens within, so sometimes you can't even understand, but there's times where, you know, I wake up in the morning and I can't move. And my body is, it's like paralysis, like where, I have to, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to even get feeling in my fingers and have to like get myself up. Um, and those are, those are probably more of the extreme cases. Um, but it gets to that place where it's just your immune system fighting everything, trying to tear it down. And it takes me back to being a kid and being diagnosed with attention hyperactive disorder. Uh, irregular heartbeat and you know just I was a kid with so much energy everything about my life has always been overactive um, again I believe it's a it's a spiritual frequency thing that once I was diagnosed there was a lot of stress going on in my life and lupus is the the episodes or the flare-ups your system, your blood's not functioning properly and it's like a bubble that gets in your blood and once that bubble of air uh, gets to your vital organs, it's usually over. Um, and you know, I've, I've had, since my battle with lupus, I've probably had almost a half a dozen pulmonary embolisms. I've, I remember the initial one, uh, which we found in 2012 was three at once where I had them in my lungs and one even in my heart. Usually when those get to that place, it's over. And, and I've had doctors look at me in my face and like, we don't know how you're still here. Like, you're actually, you've arrived too late. <laughs> like, and I, I remember the first time I was on stage in Baltimore and my chest was just hurt I like I don't understand and I had already been in the hospital I was I thought I was better but it was this different kind of pain in my chest and I had two more shows and I was like I'm gonna just finish these shows and then I'm gonna go check myself into the hospital but I gotta finish these shows and I remember they were like nah you can't finish the show man you can't like I was like laid I could they had to like carry me I was like but I'm because the way lupus works I know I get past it like if I like get time or soak myself in water or yoga or something like I can get to moving again so I was like nah I'm, it's gonna pass it's gonna pass it's like nah you gotta go and they rushed me to the hospital and that's where they you know they did the MRIs and the CAT scans and all and they found the blood clots and I was like yo it's too late <laughs> like like this like the blood clot has already reached where like most people would be gone already uh, and that's the thing about even when they find blood clots, they can't get rid of the blood clots. All they can do is give you medicine to prevent other ones, but then they give you all of these steroids and stuff to keep you living. So saying that and having faced death so many times uh, and mad blood transfusions and chemo and all this stuff and still be able to wear a smile each and every day and know how blessed I am to actually be here, it gives me a whole whole different perspective on life. I wake up every morning, every morning I can move and stand up is a blessed morning. Um, I don't think about the future anymore. I want to live in the moment in a way that this might be my last moment. So I embrace my relationships with people. I embrace my words. You know, I don't, I don't lose talk. You know what I mean? I don't, 
I don't project into the future. Even though I love speaking things into existence, it's more about speaking things into right now, making things happen right now. What can we, what can we get popping right now? Like, and that's how I live my life. Uh, and I think it's an amazing perspective because everybody else, stress comes from what can come. <laughs> what, what's tomorrow gonna look like? You don't stress if you're only concerned about what's going on in the moment. So I no longer stress about stuff. Um, I can't change the past. I can't predict the future. All I can do is operate in right now. And that's how I deal with lupus. That's how I deal with my life. And I look at it as a badge of honor, as a blessing to be able to have this strength each and every day. Um, it sounds very cliche, but you know, what doesn't kill you can only make you stronger. So, you know, nights sitting up in them hospital beds with all them tubes and stuff hooked up to me, just looking up at the ceiling, having those, uh, those outer body experiences and all, like, I embrace it all, man. I, I've learned to respect the universe in a whole different way. Uh, I operate only off of love frequencies, like vibrations, like, like all of that stuff. I've been able to study and understand what the body is made of and the power that we have, that self-healing power, that faith that we have, that we can, we can overcome everything because you know, I always tell people I have lupus, but lupus doesn't have me.